My dear students, this is the problem asked in previous years. I'll teach you a simple shortcut formula for this so that you can solve the problem in fraction of seconds. You can just consider the ring. Let us imagine this is going to be your ring. Okay. And if the ring is oscillating like this, what is the time period? And the same ring is oscillating to and fro like this, front and back. Then what is the time period? I'll discuss this problem in a super simple way. For example, you all know time period is equal to 2 by root of m by k into uh, this is in translatory motion. That means time period is directly proportional to root of mass. Okay, so time period is directly proportional to root of mass. But as this is a case in which uh, a circular body, it's a case of compound pendulum. Okay, so here instead of taking mass, we will consider time period is directly proportional to moment of inertia. Yeah, this is going to be the same ring which is oscillating in different ways. One is like this, another is like this. It's shown in the diagrams. So uh, time period is directly proportional to root of moment of inertia. And you all know when the ring uh, is considered and uh, this is going to be the moment of inertia axis for that moment of inertia is 2mr square you know about that by using parallel axis theorem and if this is a tangentially for example moment of inertia along the tangent it is found to be this much okay it is going to be 3 by 2mr square okay in both the cases you can take t is directly proportional to root i that's it so t1 by t2 can be considered as root i1 by root i2 so therefore root i1 means it's nothing but 2 mr square divided by 3 by 2 mr square so this mr square gets in cancelled here it goes to become 2 square by 3 that is 2 divided by root 3 is going to be your answer that's it 2 divided by root 3 a simple shortcut method to solve the problem thank you very much have a nice day